this is Turbological Sword. And this video is based on my previous video about depth of search. So if you haven't watched that, I recommend you do that. Uh, it's where I go over depth of search, which is important for this algorithm. And I go over it using this exact same graph. Um, but yeah, topological sort is based on the idea that you can model using a graph that uh, different things depend on each other. So what I mean by that is if we focus here on A and B, uh, this arrow means that in order to do B, we must first do A. Uh, and same here with this arrow, in order to do E, we must first do B. So we should maybe do A first and then B and then E. Uh, and topological sort allows you to create a sequence of nodes uh, where all the dependencies are going to be first. So if we have here B and A, we know for sure if we topological sort that a is going to be before B because we have this dependency. A must be done before we can do B. Uh, but yeah, it's based on depth of search. So what you're doing is uh, you're running depth of search. And then when you're done with the function that you're running on a particular node, so when you're done with a node, basically, you add it in reverse to a list. Uh, so we're going to do that down here. So we start with A and then we just do a depth of search. So we go to B and then F and then i, so i is a node that we're actually going to return out of, so we're going to be done with i now, which means we're going to add it down here, and then we're con going to continue here with f, and now we're actually done with k, so we add it here, then we're done with j, because that was its only child, and then we go to f, and we're completely done with f now, we have explored all the children, so back up to b, Explore E, done with E, and now we're fully done with B. And so we can continue down to C. G points to a node we have visited, uh, so we don't do much there. And then we're done with D, and now done with C. And still not done with A, because it still has children we haven't explored. But now we go into H, which we, we are done with, and we're done with D. And now we're fully done with A. So this is a sequence where we have all the kind of dependencies. So A uh, is a dependency for everyone. So that's first. Uh, but yeah, let me visualize this in another way. So if we start with A, here are as children. And uh, so now I'm just gonna follow the sequence that we have made. So then we can do D because it only has a dependency of A. So that's per perfectly valid for us to do. And then now we can do H, which has a dependency of D and C, still perfectly valid, G, and um, now we can go to B, and E, and F, and J, and K, and I, and none of these had dependencies that we haven't uh, colored yellow. Uh, so this sequence is correct. It's one of many, with depth of search, you, since it is a bit random, you, you can have uh, multiple valid sequences, but that was topological sort.